Hello, welcome back. I'm Mr. Charlie, and this is Physics SAT2 Review. Uh, today we're going to do Lesson 2, Kinematics. Lesson 1 was a basic review of vectors uh, versus scalars. Vectors are quantities that have direction as well as a magnitude or a size. For example, velocity and distance and acceleration, which we're going to talk about today with kinematics. And scalars are quantities like mass and time and volume that have no direction and are just a regular number. Uh, we also talked about exponents and basic units. So today we're going to kind of bring that all together and start doing some real physics. So kinematics is the study of motion. Um, motion we're very familiar with, right? Motion is how fast we're going, where we're going, how far we're going, right? So direction, um, distance traveled, displacement from your starting position, velocity, uh, which is basically a physics word for speed, right? Meters per second, although there is a very important distinction between speed and velocity that we'll get to in a minute. Um, and also acceleration, and so acceleration is the rate at how fast your speed is changing. So if you're slowing down, you have negative acceleration, and if you're speeding up, you have positive acceleration. And we're going to talk about how these quantities are related to each other, um, and also how they're related to time, and talk about some basic uh, examples of how we use these concepts. For example, to analyze the motion of a falling object, or a projectile object, something that's being thrown at an angle, which generally follows a parabola. For example, we have this fountain here uh, with a great example of kinematics and projectile motion firing all these water droplets out, and notice how they all trace out this parabola as they move. And that's because they're falling under the influence of gravity, and again, we'll talk about that later on in this lesson. So, let's get started. Um, the first two quantities I want to talk about are distance and displacement. We all know what distance is, right? Distance is how far an object has traveled. Um, it can be measured in meters, kilometers, centimeters, whatever you want. We'll generally use meters in our examples. Um, distance is a scalar quantity, okay? That's important. You might go 10 miles, 10 kilometers, you know, half a meter. It has no direction associated with it. You just move um, with a certain, you move a certain distance. Displacement, however, is the corresponding vector property. Displacement is the difference if you are on an axis and we're graphing, let's say, position x over time t. So this is a person um, moving from zero to some distance, maybe it's 10, so they move from zero to 10 meters, maybe, in a certain number of seconds. Their distance that they've traveled is 10, right? Let's say they turn around and start walking back to the axis. At the end, they end up back at the axis, right? So in the first case, distance and displacement are equal. Displacement is the vector pointing from the zero point to the ending point. So displacement and distance are equal at this point. Once you turn around and move back to the zero point, now displacement is zero because the person is ending at zero where they started. They haven't actually gone any distance from their starting point. The distance traveled, the total distance traveled, however, is going to be 20, right? They've gone 20 out and 20 back. So in this example, the distance traveled is 20 and the displacement is zero. So I have another example here. You can think about a sprinter on a track, right? If they're running in a track and field event. So after doing two laps, the distance traveled is two laps. If the sprinter is running on a 400 meter track, then the distance is going to be 800 meters. However, the displacement is the change in position 